And in this video, we're going to show you how to set up alerts using Splunk. So this will be quite a simple process. You'll see at the moment up on the screen, I've got Splunk Enterprise open. I've got a search on a host that I have live at the moment. And we're going to set up a search for a 404 page not found. So Splunk alerts are based on searches that can run either on scheduled intervals and also in real time. Alerts are triggered when the results of the search match your conditions. So it's as simple as I've pointed at my host, added the status of 404, and I can do a search. So you'll see my results have been returned, and you can see where I'm getting a 404. So alerts can trigger events, log an event, output it to a file, send emails, and also perform a custom action. So how do we do this? So we take our search string, and we save it as an alert. We give it a title, so I'll call this one 404 page not found. Permissions, we can keep it to private or we can share it in the app itself. We'll keep it to private at the moment. An alert type, we can have scheduled or we can have in real time. So scheduled, it will run every week, every hour, every day, every month at a particular time. And you can set that to expire in seconds, minutes, hours, or days. So we'll select real time, and we'll select this alert to expire in 24 days. So same across the board with trigger conditions. So you'll see trigger alert when you've got the option per result, number of results, number of hosts, number of sources, and custom. So we're gonna select per result. We also have an option to throttle. So if this generates an error, we may get loads of errors subsequently. So we can suppress these for a certain amount of time. In this case, I won't do that. We'll just add a trigger action. So what is a trigger action? An action is what we'll do when this alert happens. So we can add it to triggered alerts. We can send a log event and output the results to telemetry endpoint. We can invoke a custom script, so we could have some kind of self-healing script or something that corrects the problem. We can send an email or we can use a webhook. In this example, we're going to add to triggered alerts. Then you set the severity. So we'll put this to high and click save. So now you can set permissions and you can also view or continue editing your alert. So we'll go to the view alert. And there we'll see that we've got our alert all set up and ready to go. So I'll go back to the search pane again. So I've now generated some data and we should see our alerts come in. So we can go to activity and we can go to triggered alerts. And there you'll see our 404 page not found. We can go to view results, we can edit the search and we can also delete this. We can maybe delete it once the alert has been dealt with. And you'll see if we choose view alert, our search pane comes up and it tells us the exact error that occurred. That now we've looked at the actual alert contents, we can see our 404 error. I generated this by looking for a web page that I know doesn't exist on this particular host. So that was how to set up an alert with Splunk. Thank you for watching this.